What? Who was this dude? If he's still alive, I mean, I don't know if he's a, if he's alive or dead. Holy shit! All right. Su Sutomu Miyazaki, born August twenty first, nineteen sixty two, died January June seventeenth, two thousand eight. Also known as the Otaku Murderer or the Little Girl Murderer, was a Japanese serial killer, cannibal, and necrophile who abducted and murdered four young girls in Saitama and the Tokyo prefectures from August 1990, 1988 to June 1989. His victims included his crimes included vampirism and preservation of body parts as trophies. His birth left him with deformed hands, which were permanently gnarled and fused directly to the wrist which means he needs to move his entire forearm in order to rotate the hand. Due to his deformity, he was ostracized when he attended his elementary school and consequently kept to himself. Attended Meidai Nakano School. Jesus. He didn't receive... Oh my god, this guy's life was fucked up. Holy shit. Filthy friend. <laughs> My God. He ate part of his grandfather's ashes? A few weeks later, one of his sisters caught him watching her while she was taking a shower. When she told him to leave, Miyazaki attacked her. When his mother learned of the incident and demanded that he spent more time working and less with his videos, he attacked her as well. He also suffered from an inferiority complex due to the size of his penis and would not interact with older women. <laughs> No, that's not funny. He would attend college tennis matches for the sole purpose of photographing photographing the players and would subsequently use them to masturbate. In 1984, the age of 21, he began to watch child pornography, which was legal in Japan at that time. What? Thanks, Lemon. Not the time to celebrate, though. This is not the time. Mitch, did you hear that shit? At one point, child pornography was legal in Japan? Fuck me. Why is this so fucked up? Like, I'm it's just reading about this is so crazy. Murders. Between August 1988 and June 1989, he mutilated and killed four girls between ages four and seven and sexually molested the corpses, drank the blood of one victim and ate part of her hand. During the day, he was by all accounts a mild-mannered individual. Outside of work, he randomly selected children to kill, wrote, on the, fa wrote the families of his victims, sending them letters recalling the details of the murder. Police found that the families of the victims had something else in common. They all received silent nuisance phone calls. If they did not pick up the phone, it would ring for 20 minutes. On August 22, 1988, one day after his 26th birthday, Mari Kono, a four-year-old girl, vanished after playing at a friend's house. Holy fuck. To find her, Mari's father contacted the police. Miyazaki led her back into his black Nissan Langley and abducted her, drove westward of Tokyo, parked the car under a bridge in a wooded area, then sat alongside the girl for half an hour before murdering her. He then engaged in sexual acts with the corpse and left her corpse in the hills near his home. He took her clothes with him and departed, and allowed Marikono's corpse to decompose for a while before later returning to the grounds to remove the hands and feet, which he kept in his closet. These were recovered upon his arrest. He charred her remaining bones in his furnace, grinded them into powder, and sent them to her family in a box, along with several of her teeth, photos of her clothes, and a postcard which read, Mari cremated bones investigate proof. What the fuck? On August 22nd, 1988, one day after Miyazaki's 26th birthday, wait, no, no, I read that. 
Miyazaki was driving along a rural road when he spotted seven-year-old Masami Yoshikawa, Yo- Yoshizawa, offered her a ride and accepted. She drove him to the same place he killed the other girl. He engaged in sexual acts with the corpse, and how do you even become like that? How does a person become this fucked up? How was he arrested? How was he arrested? Wait a minute. On June 6, 1989, Miyazaki convinced a five-year-old Ayako Nomoto... He convinced this little girl to allow him to take pictures of her. He then led her into his car and murdered her. He covered the corpse with a bed sheet and placed her in the trunk of his car, taking the body to his apartment and spent the next two days engaging in sexual acts with the corpse, taking pictures of it in various positions and filming it. When the body began to decompose, he dismembered it, abandoning the torso in a cemetery and the head in the nearby hills. He kept the hands from which he drank blood and ate part of them. Fearing that the police would find the corpse, he returned to the cemetery and the hills two weeks later and carried the remains back to his apartment, where he hid them in his closet. On July 23, 1989, Miyazaki attempted to insert a zoom lens into the vagina of a grade schoolgirl in a park near her home and was apprehended by her father. After fleeing naked on foot, Miyazaki eventually returned to the park to retrieve his Toyota car, where upon his arrest by police who had responded to a call by the father, a search of Miyazaki's two-room bungalow produced 5,763 videotapes, some containing anime and slasher films later used as reasoning for his crimes. Interspersed among them was video footage and pictures of his victims. He was also reported to be a fan of horror films, which he had a collection. Miyazaki, who retained a perpetually calm and collected demeanor during his trial, appeared indifferent to his capture. The media called him the otaku murderer. His killings caused a moral panic against otaku, accusing anime and horror films of making him a murderer. These reports were disputed. In Eiji Otsuka's book on the crime, he argued that Miyazaki's collection of pornography was probably added or amended by a photographer in order to highlight his perversity. Another critic, Fumia Ichisashi, suspected the released information was playing up to public stereotypes and fears about otaku, as police knew they would help to cement a conviction. Miyazaki's father refused to pay for his son's legal defense and committed suicide in 1994. Trial and execution. He was executed. Under, I mean, yeah. Someone like this does not need to breathe another breath of air on this goddamn planet. The trial began on March 30th, 1990. I have, I was born in May of that year. Often, talk, often talking nonsensically, Miyazaki blamed his actions on Ratman, an alter ego who Miyazaki claimed forced him to kill. He spent time during the trial drawing Ratman in cartoon form. The Tokyo District Court. How do those drawings look? Oh my God! The Tokyo District Court judge judged him still aware of the magnitude and consequences of his crimes and therefore accountable. He was sentenced to death on April 14, 1997. His death sentence was upheld by both the Tokyo High Court on June 28, 2001 in the Supreme Court of Justice on January 6, 17, 2006. He was alive for all that time. He should have been fucking wiped from this planet way before. He described his serial murders as an act of benevolence. Child killer Kaoru described himself as the next Tutsomu Miyazaki or Mamoru Takuma. Miyazaki stated, I won't allow him to call himself the second Totsumo Miyazaki when he hasn't even undergone a psychiatric examination. This shit is fucked up. Minister of Justice Kunio Hatoyama signed his death warrant and Miyazaki was hanged! He was hung! Jesus Christ! I mean, they went so old school on his ass. They didn't even electric chair him. They didn't lethal injection. They straight up lynched this bitch. Good. Romero says, so while that dude was in the earlier picture was Roman Polanski, yes? If so, I didn't see. I saw the chat. Then the connection to the murder is that his wife was killed by the Manson family, a.k.a. Charlie, 
when she was eight months pregnant. Oh my god, this game just has fucked up shit on top of fucked up shit. Everything that we just saw was murderers. He was hung on June 17, 2008. The unusual swiftness of his execution. Unusual swiftness? He was alive for years after he was arrested. The unusual swiftness of his execution, as well as its timing soon after the Akihabara murders or massacre prompted questions regarding the two incidents. The Ministry of Justice has no comment. Ryo, Ry, Mr. Saki said his trial was long and that he was not willing to criticize Hatoyama. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my fucking god. I'm sorry, I just had to get a little bit more of a read on that, like, just to get some context, guys. <sighs> Unusual swiftness. Yeah, good, they hung that bitch. So the original fucked up version of this game had images of what? His murders? Some of the images that he had of his victims. He had, he had 5,000... Over 5,000 videotapes of either anime or the fucked up things he did to those little girls. Where are those? T like, like, God, it would just kill me if I knew that there were tapes of that shit, images of that shit on the line. Like, nothing of that shit exists online. If there was, oh my God. Only the deep web would have some shit like that. How would that even?